<laughs> Mom? <laughs> what, what's your daughter's name or kid's name? Son, boy, girl? Both. Both? What were their names? Haley Ann and Jackson. Haley Ann and Jackson. Pretty names, right? I got a friend who wanted to name her kid Felon. Whoa! Felon. With a PH. So it sounded different. Right? I was like, no, it's, it's Felon. It's still the same thing. Like, if you want to give your kid a chance in life, name it misdemeanor at least. Right? So, got me thinking about names. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff in names, right? Like, names define you, right? Like, you can't name your name your, your kids, especially your daughters, certain things like cities or precious jewels, unless you want them to end up on a on a pole. Right? Like you can't name your kid Boston. She's gonna end up on a pole. Right? So like can you imagine you live in this area and you and you have four kids and you introduce them to your friends as this is a uh, Atlanta. <laughs> this is my daughter Barstow. <laughs> my son Lucerne. And then there's Felin. No. <laughs> I mean Felin. I mean it's the same fucking thing, right? Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. So uh, I have a lot of medical issues, guys. A lot of medical issues. I thought so. You you you, you thought right. <laughs> Matter of fact, a couple what? What's the uh, beginning of February, right? Mm. Uh, two months ago, beginning of December, I had really bad major surgery. I uh, had a stent that was put in a year ago um, that went from my kidney to my bladder and uh, for, for a kidney stump that, um, yeah, got stuck. But the stent was only supposed to stay in two months tops. Two months tops. And it was in there for almost a year. Thank you, IEHP. So. Um, I, I'm sorry, that's not. I are you know, IEHP? Do I laugh? Do I not? I, it's fine, laugh. <laughs> I do. It's the way I can get to the day. So, sorry. huge. I finally get a doctor who's willing to do surgery and try to, oh, I see a doctor who's like, oh, that's fucking horrible. Like, he didn't say it that way, but the look on his face was, that's. Fucking terrible. That needs to get the fuck out. <laughs> and uh, basically, there was two huge stones growing on each side of this thing. So they couldn't just go in and rip the fucker out. They had to go in and surgically go in through the tip of my dick. Whoa. Break up the stone that was in the bladder. Go in and break the stone up in the kidney. And then pull it out and then just let everything flush out. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, wait, it gets better. It gets better. Don't walk away. So much better. So, for, they, they go in, this, this procedure, he's telling me it's going to be two hours, two hours he tells me. I wake up six hours later, five hours it took this guy to get rid of two giant fucking stones in my body. So, I uh, go home, and they, my, my, my urethra is just basically Grand Central, Central Station, just shit coming in and out all fucking five hours, right? No. <laughs> so I, I get home and I have to pee and it fucking hurts and it burns and it fucking sucks but I have to pee. So I'm, I'm sitting there and trying to go and nothing's happening. Unless you stop and go. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't go. I stand up and I'm like, I got iodine and just cleaning product all over me and that needs to come off. I'm getting in the shower. So I get undressed and I Shower's running, and, and you know how the, the drizzling water makes you have to go? It's like, oh, fuck. I can go now. It's like, I step up to the shower, because why not, and I just let it go. I'm peeing, and it's red, and it's sandy, and it burns, but I'm fucking going. And it's amazing. And you know how that feeling that you get when you're actually taking a piss, that sensation? That stays continuous. But as I'm watching, the stream just stops. Dead. Oh. But it still feels like I'm going. And over the shower, I can actually hear what basically a lawnmower is running out of gas. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's air being escaped from my bladder. My dick farted. <laughs> Essentially, I queefed. Oh, <laughs> 
just went through my dick hole. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So what is that called? <laughs> a queef. It's a, it's a queef. It's, I looked it up online. It's defined as queef. I, because it's, a, yeah, I had nothing better to do than look up dick queef online. <laughs> so, I tell you guys that story to tell you this. So, today, like, not even five hours ago, I was at the hospital again to have the second stent removed. Because when they did the first surgery, they put the stent in, it got in, left in for too way too long. They did a surgery to take it out and they put it into one end because that's what you're supposed to fucking do. If not, your kidney backs up and you just fucking die. So, to prevent me from dying, because it's fucking bad, I guess, um, they had to, they, they put the stent in and now today was the day to remove it. Two months later. And I've had this done before and it was not fun. So I wasn't looking forward to today. So I go in. And, uh, guys, it's, this is fucking traumatic. I go in, and I sit down, and I'm shaking, and I know it's coming. And uh, the doctor comes in, and he's talking to me. He's, you know, I'm like, doctor, I'm, I'm fucking nervous. He's like, just, just relax. It's all, we're all going to be good. But have my, my assistant come in, and she's going to help me. And I'm like, okay. Now, guys, the assistant, like, she's an eight. Okay. <laughs> But, like, she's in scrubs, so now she's kind of like a six. But she's still an eight. Like, if she's a six, she just puts a little effort in. She's going to be a total fucking eight. So she's cute. <laughs> and she's there. My pants are off. And, um, it's cold. So the shrinkage is going on. I'm, mm -hmm. And it's, it's just there. And I got this hottie McNurse, and fucking doc over here and he's like okay cool so um I'm gonna take this and he takes the tip of my dick takes this fucking um the stuff that's supposed to numb it just pulls the fucking dip and just squeezes the shit in there out of a syringe and he takes like a chiclet and puts it on the tip and says okay we're good here 15 minutes we'll be back just leaves me they both fucking take off I'm here with chiclet dick numbing <laughs> And I'm just there, like, okay. just staring at the fucking ceiling. I got my phone, it's on the other side of the, of the room. Like, I want to get it, but I don't want chip clip to fall off. And Doc, sorry. <laughs> no one had to explain that to him. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't stop Facebook and Snapchat, you know. Didn't want to fucking have to deal with that. So I'm just sitting there, and it's awkward. Finally, they come back in. It's okay, it's time. It's time. Shit. I'm fucking shaking and I'm like, no, look, I, I'm gonna fucking scream. I'm going to. He's like, no, you're, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. So I take this thing off and and there it is, just out again. And he takes the clip off, I could feel everything just ooze out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, I know. It, Yummy! So uh, <laughs> he's, he tells the hot nurse to, like, hey, uh, grab me that majigger, whatever. Oh, it's I, no, it's, okay, it's. A fucking camera? Oh, it's it's like a little thing where you put your eye in, and it's a long ass fucking tube, and then on the end of the tube, come out the side, is like a like a grabber. So like, that inside is a claw, and you gotta put it in, and when you push it out, it comes open, and you grab it, and you fucking pull the goddamn stent out. That's how it's supposed to happen. So I get in there, and I'm sitting down, I'm fucking buckled up, and he's like, okay, this is gonna happen. So he goes in. He Slides us in, and I don't feel anything at all. I, I, mean, I can feel it, the pressure, but other than that, it don't hurt. It don't hurt. It's just it's fine. The no gel worked until I got to uh, the prostate. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It's it's no, no. for me. <laughs> I, would, I would not be up here if I didn't want you to laugh. <laughs> so he's like, okay, we're gonna pass the prostate. Take a deep breath, oh. and he passes it. And I scream like a little girl in front of Miss Hotty Nurse. I want to hear it. How did it go? You motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was close to that. A lot more curse words, and I'm sorry. A lot of sorries in between every curse word. Like, fuck you! Fuck you! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! <laughs> fuck you! God damn it! Oh, sorry! I'm sorry that I'm not normally... Like, yeah, it's a lot of that. It's like Tourette's, but apologetic. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the, the 
it happens, right? And the doctor gets it in. He, he's in and he's like, uh, oh, but it's not wanting to go all the way in because there's supposed to be water that goes in, like a saline solution that's supposed to go in and makes it easier to see. It's supposed to fill my bladder so you can see what the fuck he's doing. And it's not going because I'm too fucking tense. He's like, you gotta relax, Joey. You're gonna relax. You gotta relax. You're gonna pass out. You gotta pass. No, you have to relax. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm, there's something in my fucking dick. Try sticking something in your dick and relaxing. It's impossible. So I'm just breathing. Okay. And it's just, it's just like I can still feel it in there, but it's, it's not as bad as it's not as bad as it was. Okay. So, and he's like, okay, well, that thing needs to fill up. And he sets the fucking thing down in between my legs and takes off. He leaves me with Dr. McHotty pants alone. My dick's out with a fucking contraption sticking out of it. Have you guys ever had that awkward silence and you don't know how to feel? Like uh, the moment where everything is just so fucking weird, but the weirdest part is that you can't make it unweird. Like, just. The silence of her just sitting there. She's she's watching the door like a goddamn dog whose owner just left and she's like, he's gonna be back any second. He's gonna be I'm just staring at the ceiling. We're not just no eye contact. None. But it's silent, it's just quiet. So I decide to open my mouth. I make a decision to say something. What came out was how's it look? No, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. She looks from the door, looks at my dick with the whole fucking thing hanging out of it, looks at me. I'm not looking, no eye contact. I'm staring at the sea like I'm peripheral. I can see everything. She looks at me, looks back at my dick, and she goes, like a sad turtle. <laughs> oh, no. That's my time, guys. <laughs>